This review, the electronic review, is in conformity with our policy trust of maintaining a subsidized pricing regime in the short run or in the short time with a transition plan to achieving a full cost reflective tariff for the sector over, say, a period of three years. I've mentioned this in a couple of my media briefings, that it is because of government sensitivity to the suffering, to the pace of our people, that will not make us to migrate fully into a cost reflective tariff or, in another language, to remove subsidy 100% in the power sector like it was done in the oil and gas sector. Government is so sensitive to the pace of the people, to the service of the people, and we are not ready to aggravate the sufferings any longer, which is why we said it must be a journey rather than a destination. And the journey starts from now that we should do a gradual migration from the subsidy regime to a full cost reflective regime. And we must start with some customers. This is more like a pilot for us at the Ministry of Power and our agencies. It's like a proof of concept. It's a deal so that those that will have the infrastructure sufficient enough, adequate enough, and qualitative enough to deliver stable power that will enjoy between 20 and 24 hours of light to be the ones that we should target. And these sets of customers, we have established the capacity and the willingness to pay for this. And it only affects 15% of customers with established capacity and willingness to pay at a service level agreement. The service level agreement is 20 hours at the minimum. And on the overall, I believe, realistically, that if we are able to comply with this service level agreement of 20 hours minimum, it is still far cheaper than the alternative source of diesel and petrol generators. I believe you will agree with me. I just say make I put mouth for this uh, our minister of power come at us and go increase our money about three hundred percent to the amount we be they pay before. Say they go increase money for the tariff. Say Nigeria they consume light a lot. Nigeria the way they take the consume light is there too much. The money we they pay for power, you know they reach the amount we they use. So now I come to say now what you do this our government then. These people, they don't even pity the citizens at all. Look at what the citizens they go through. The hardship, all the for country, no job, nothing. And you now see one from this electric electricity side, they extort the people. They collect money for the people again. If they take us to compare America people, you tell say they will be using 24 hours appliances here. Our fridge, they work 24 hours for year. Our AC, yes, unless say you go work, now you go off your AC. But once you day house, you own your AC because here why day? If you don't own AC, you don't go fish stay for house. The weather they very very hot. I know people will be saying they use their own 24 hours. I yes, if they bring bill for you, if they calculate the money, you don't go pass with five thousand naira. If you convert the money to Nigeria currency, now when Nigeria currency now don't even don't skyrocket. Now they talk oh, now maybe twenty five to thirty thousand. But well, I could remember that time in Nigeria, as like for early last year or last two years, the, the money, if you convert that, you know, past 10,000. You know, past 10,000, what would they pay for Nepal be mostly? I get three fridge, where would they use? Three fridge, all of them they own 24 hours. Or let's say if I use my AC very, very often, now my bill they high. But if, if now the fridge, nothing they do your light, your light would be read normal. But now AC, I understand saying now AC they, they consume our light, then they make us pay higher bill. But if I reduce to own AC, eh, I no go I no go spend a lot of money for light for electricity. If you see fan, if you see fan they blow for inside my room. Because if I just own small AC now, bam, before 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't offer fan go do the rest work. But what I'm trying to say is that they where where they want to take at three hundred percent to money where 
the one they charge is too much for person like assuming now person where they pay 30,000 monthly now you go begin they pay 60,000 I know person where they say they pay 120,000 monthly now you go they pay 300 and something thousand monthly now now what about all these companies all the manufacturing companies that wouldn't they pay millions monthly how you go be there how how they will take recover their money our federal government need to find a way to fix all these things in fact me i'm not gonna lie to you i my advice to people will be saying you get your own private i will advise you go get solar solar and i be the best do you know that ever since why i put solar for my place i know we will not consign with nepa nothing consign me with nepa again and the solar why i put in the carry fridge my fridge they work 24 hours if you say they live for three bedroom flat you can get four pan two battery get inverter and other things fix solar for your place you go enjoy them if you say they live for two place you get eight pan two battery you go enjoy them i'm not gonna lie you this electricity of 18 just come on for there get yourself solar make you just relax yourself if you get eight pan get four batteries you go enjoy them nobody see with our this our means of power they talk rubbish here this thing is too much how people go to survive eh? you go they pay 300 and something thousand 200 something thousand for nepa bid never set all that bids with the men this is too much our federal government need to find way make them feel reduced pressure for the citizen they need to find way to reduce pressure for the citizen because the pressure went on top of the citizen now is too much hardship they too much say be not prepaid than they use and you cannot tell somebody how to use his prepaid meter so far in pay and i do not like him go use them this is our country yeah? they pay me say all these are politicians then they travel they see how other country they do but still yet they will still come back and if you apply that kind of system that kind of things where then they see for abroad they know if you apply for for nigeria it's so bad i will advise you now make sure they use solar if you get the money instead of you paying 300,000 200,000 monthly gather money buy yourself solar two million i will get you solar we will serve you you all this stress you know go to guam i bet you try get yourself solar it will help you a lot and if you want solar i guess somebody will go feel recommend very nice trustworthy and they will come deliver them for you very very cheap cheaper price with 2m you go enjoy your solar with 1.8 you go still enjoy solar different than the pan and the solar pan go they different follow me on my facebook page and my youtube channel is a good tv